Hey, welcome to the finals. Uh, we won the die roll playing against Zoro 7x4. Uh, we are going to play first. Our deck is fairly aggressive. Um, this is not the most aggressive of hands, but uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna send it back. We, we do have Sunforger. Um, I mean, we have one of our two instants that we can go get with it, but uh, it's. I mean, it's still it's still a really good card, and especially combined with Sun Home, like that's we're gonna go pretty deep with that. So we'll we'll keep this hand. Although I would like uh, I would like a two drop at some point. All right, so our opponent is also keeping, so let's battle. I'll lead with planes. And it'd be nice to draw one. Again, it would be nice to draw one of our two drops, but uh, we still have this Budskill Blood Prowler, which is still fine as a 3 1. And. Oh. <laughs> My opponent uh, accidentally F6 through his turn. He said, Ugmodo lag. That is not a good start for him, but unfortunately, we can't really punish him for. Uh, uh, his his basically skipping his first turn. All right. Uh, ooh, that's that was a good draw. Uh, so we're gonna play our Blood Scale Prowler this turn, and next turn we're gonna play our Blind Hunter, and then we're gonna get in with Sun Home probably. Uh, nah, we'll probably play Sun Forge instead of uh, double striking with Sun Home. Well, we'll play the Sun Home in case he has like a blocker or something. All right. I think I still want to play Blight Hunter this turn over the Sky Knight Legionnaire. Uh, so let's just get in there with the Bloodscale Prowler. And follow up with our Blight Hunter. <laughs> this is a pretty decent start, not gonna lie. Stinkweed Imp. Alright. Well, uh, I guess we can play our Sun Home, and we can completely nullify the, uh, the, the Death Touch from this Stinkweed Imp. It's not real Death Touch, but it's, it's effectively Death Touch, but our opponent just conceded anyway. 